Hey guys, what's up? Mickey Doc here, the damn green you. An A12 gameplay, and uh, as you can tell by the title, uh, this is a flawless <coughs> game with the A12. I do end up getting a Moab. Moab, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Moab, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I want to talk about the A12. Um, this gun is it. It ain't too good. In fact, uh, some people said that it was the second best shotgun in the game, only, uh, you know, right under the striker. But uh, I, I do not see that. I do not see that at all. This shotgun has absolutely no range at all. Even if you do put on the range proficiency, it is, it is, it's bad. It is bad. I would, I would not recommend using this gun. I would rather use the Spaz 12 over this gun. In fact. As far as I can tell, out of the, all the shotguns that I've I've used, and I've have haven't used two of the shotguns, the KSG and the Model. Now, I'm pretty damn sure that none of those are uh, better than the Spaz. At least I'm pretty sure uh, the KSG might, but I know for a fact the Model isn't better than the Spaz. So, for now, I'm gonna say that the Spaz is the second best shotgun in the game, or or the USAS. Maybe it's the USAS. I mean, uh, I've actually already gotten the USAS Gold. I know, I don't even have the A12 gold yet, and I haven't gotten a single good game play with the use has. Oh my god, I'm go I know, it's horrible, it's horrible. Uh, but I mean, the use has isn't a bad gun at all, in fact, I really, I don't think I've gone negative with it. I mean, maybe once, when it, before I had damage, but I mean, once I got extended mags, <laughs> You know, emphasis on extended mags, not damage or range. Uh, the USAS worked out great. I mean, the second you got um, extended mags for the gun, it started getting one-shot kills. And uh, when you got, when I unlocked range, nothing seemed to change. When I put on damage and extended mags, nothing seemed to change. I still seemed to get the same amount of hit markers. In fact, just a little tip if any of you want to try out the USAS. Uh, from my experience, the, the USAS works better with range, because, I mean, I've tried, ex I mean, as long as you have extended mags on, I do not see any da difference between uh, damage and range on the USAS. Uh, I really don't see any difference. I still get, you know, two, three hit markers with it. You know, you know there's, there's some one-shot kills in there, but sometimes the USAS does take three shots to kill people, even with damage and extended mags. But uh, if you aren't going to run the specialist package... Uh, I would definitely recommend using range instead of damage on the USAS and Striker. Uh, not on the AH-12 though, AH-12 definitely, definitely needs the damage, seeing how it, without it, it takes like 7 million shots to kill people. <laughs> so you definitely need damage. And with damage, the AH-12 is a two-shot kill. You need to be like, freaking touching the enemy to get a one-shot kill with the AH-12, but uh, that's just the way it is. And uh, most of the time with the A12, you're going to need to shoot four shots on the guy. And most of the time, it's going to take three shots to kill him. But you always need to shoot that four shot just in case. And, uh, yeah, this gun, uh, it's, I don't even know how I got this gameplay. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not trying at all. And I'm not, I'm not saying that to brag. I, uh, these guys, this was on Christmas Day. This was my first game of the, of the day. It was in the morning. And uh, it, was, it was Christmas Day, and these guys all sucked. I don't, I don't know what else to say. I wasn't even trying. I was actually in a, a in a party this game with my friend uh, Children Smasher, and I was talking to him. I was talking to the people around me, my family, while I was playing this. I wasn't even paying attention. All I did, I I don't I don't even think I left this area, you know, because I was talking to people. I didn't even venture outside of the map. I just stayed up here because this is the only place where the AH12 is useful, and. Uh, this is really how you play mission. I mean, if the enemy starts camping and they don't want to, or I guess you're already camping, but, uh, and don't even ask what just happened there. It's theater for you. That didn't really happen in game. But, uh, this is how you play mission, you guys. Whether or not you have, unless, whether you have a shotgun, assault rifle, full SMG, even an LMG, I could, I could see it working, but maybe not a sniper rifle. I mean, unless if you're Grizz, then, uh, this is probably, the this is, you know, for the nine nine out of ten times where you want to be on mission, and that is theater mode. I am not floating through buildings. I'm not a hacker. At least I don't think I am. I'm pretty sure I'm not a hacker. I think I'd know if I'm a hacker. But, uh, AH-12, don't use it. It is not the second best shotgun in the game. Uh, second best shotgun in the game, consistency-wise, is probably the USAS or SPAS. But then again, I haven't tried the KSG or, uh, 
what you may call model. I, I take that back. Uh, they're all consistent. I mean, you just got to get used to them. The A trolls always seems to take at least three shots to kill somebody. And uh, but the second best shotgun in the game is not the A twelve. No, it is not. This thing cannot. In fact, none of the shotguns except for the striker can take on multiple enemies unless if they're complete idiots. And uh, yeah, I actually got this is what my. Third MOA, yeah, I've, I've gotten only four, but, you know, maybe some of you have never even gotten a MOA, but only four compared to all the other people out there, it isn't that great, and, you know, I've been asking myself why I can't post scores that I've, the kind of scores that I posted, posted in Black Ops, I mean, in Black Ops, you know, I posted, I posted 98 and 6s with Olympia, 40 and 2s with Olympia, uh, 96 and 7, was it, with the dual wheeled HS10s, and, you know, I, you don't become a bad player overnight, not to say that I'm a bad player, I mean, I'm pretty decent at this game, but nowhere near as good as I was in Black Ops, and, I mean, I, no offense, but I thought I was pretty damn good at Black Ops, I mean, my top five weapons were the Uzi Scorpion M14, Olympia, some other crappy ass gun, and I still held a 3KD, and all my kill streaks were non lethal. I showed my combat record, but and then this game comes around, and I'm holding a 2.2 KD. Okay, it's going up. It's in fact it's skyrocketing. It, it, not that I'm trying to defend myself to whether or not I'm a good player, but I mean. I, I'm decent at this game, okay, and I've seen other commentators, their their KDs have dropped significantly too from Black Ops, and I, I don't know if it's just because uh, this game's new and I'm still not used to it or something, or is it because I changed game modes, am I only good at domination, because truthfully, domination is so bad, you know, with without a party, and I usually don't play in a party, so, I mean, it is impossible to triple cap in that game, man, what the fuck am I doing? But uh, it is impossible to triple cap in domination, which is really, really annoying because I love to triple cap. I know a lot of people hate it, but I mean, it seems like. And then if you triple cap, they it, once you triple cap, it's not that they spawn. Actually, they do, but they spawn on top of you no matter what flag you're capping, whether it be the B flag or C flag. But once you have them triple capped, I swear that the game spawns them right behind you. It is so damn annoying. I I cannot play uh, domination. But uh, pfft, there you go, you guys. Uh, 31 and 0 with the AH12. Got a MOAB. Not even the top of the